want to talk about the worst accessories in Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, I know there's some new players coming into the game, and, you know, you summon for some of the five-star accessories, either through the tickets or actually spending orbs. Don't personally recommend the orbs. Just farming the point event and getting those BBS accessory tickets and premium accessory tickets, you're bound to start pulling them over time. I think it's one five-star accessory per, what was it, 10,000 uh, premium accessory tickets, and the other one, the BBS accessory ticket. That one is, uh, what do they call it? I think it's like one in every two to 300 on average, give or take. I don't know the exact uh, rates for that, but it's around there. And as you can imagine, the accessory that is being shown on screen, this gold Yuki dispenser, is one of the worst accessories in the game. And that is even with, or like even if I were to max this and get to 30% spiritual uh, pressure, for it'll be 15 right here with a max of 30% if it's of the same attribute, purple and purple. But there's a reason why I don't bother. If you take a look at the effect on the top, it says FCS is reduced to zero and the SP and stamina is plus 15% with a max of 30% if they're both the same attribute like this. Both of them are heart or purple, so it would be the 30%. However, the biggest issue is the fact that FCS is reduced to zero, that it's focus. Focus right now is really, really good. Like prior to the focus update, this was actually, you know, an okay or good uh, accessory to use. But with the focus update, I don't know how many years ago at this point, this was basically made useless. I mean, you could still use it. It's not the best one to use. And the reason for that is if you can get to a thousand focus, you're guaranteed to crit every single time. And anything above that 1000 focus is just more damage that's being done. So if you have like, let's just say like 2000 focus or 1500 focus, or I don't know what the max focus you can get per character, but let, you know what, I'll go show you uh, one of the characters that I've been working on one of my favorite characters in the game, this guy right here. So he has 1,362 focus. That means he's guaranteed to crit. And then he has an extra 362 focus that gets added to the amount of damage I do, which is really, really good. As you can see, I have SP, focus, and stamina at level 10. So each, I believe this is 500 uh, bonus SP. This is a uh, 1,000, I think, and that's 1,000 stamina. So I can go three more if I get this guy five out of five, and I could either pick, you know, the bonus 500 SP, or I could maybe, like, well, I can't pick it. I can roll for uh, 500 bonus SP as a three, uh, what is it called, a three star SP or whatever. And then the three focus would be an extra thousand focus if I were to go for that. So I could theoretically, if I wanted to, I, I think SP is actually better if I remember correctly to go for the 500 SP over the focus. But theoretically, if I were to do the another 1,000 focus, that would put me at 2,362 focus. Actually, it would put me at more, I think, because I have accessories that boost. Let's see what my accessories are. Let's see if I have any that boost. Okay, I don't have any right now that boost focus. But let's just say I did. You know, if I equip some accessories that boost um, focus, is there? You know what? I'm going to check. Let's, uh, let's find a... Uh, Let's go to augment. The reason why I have the accessories that I do here for movement and whatnot, it's for uh, better farming. Let's see, what kind of accessories do we got? Oh, like right here would be a good one to use because of the 80% spiritual pressure. And oh wait, yeah, there is accessories. I can't, I was I was pretty sure. It's those um, ones that reduce your stamina by like 30%. Right here. SP plus focus plus 30%. Let's just equip this real quick. I'll put it over the, I'll put it over this. Uh, okay, I, I don't see myself using her anytime soon, so okay. Um, as you can see, I got an extra 409 focus because of that. And if my base were to go up even higher to 2,362 base, this 409 would be higher. So that is why, um, you know, having a higher focus is a good thing 
losing the focus due to using those actually let's I'll, I'll go show you I, I believe I have one of those Yuki's or golden Yuki's here right uh, ah here we go I don't know who you're equipped to ah Nemo as you can see it says minus 1362 that means my focus is gone this is not good I am losing a crap ton of damage by utilizing this Yes, my SP is pretty good, but the fact that I'm losing that much focus, it, that is not good. Because that means I'm not critting, which, you know, crits in video games. If there's any game that you can get guaranteed crits on, you're going to want the guaranteed crits. Like if you play Path of Exile or any RPG and you're able to get guaranteed crits, you know that it's going to be doing a crap ton more damage. Uh, so the fact that you take that away for, what, such a little amount of SP... Like even if I were to make that 30% and 30% SP right here, so a total of 60% more SP, that's not that good of a trade-off. So get off, there we go. So now we're gonna wanna find the accessory that I originally had on here, which was the hit hidden enemies because that is useful for farming. Should be down here, right? Oh yeah, hit hidden enemies, a really good one, even though you're not really necessarily getting a stat like focus or uh, you know SP or anything I'll show you in a sec once I get to it yeah here we go uh, as you can see this one right here hit hidden enemies 100% chance even though I only got 30% SP this is still really good now granted you could get this guy to tier 20 and just put that pre-built into the character um, it's your, your choice you can do either or and this just really really good but now granted some areas don't have hidden enemies so this is useless then but you just have to pay attention to that now there are more accessories that are bad there's actually quite a few uh, wrong one I want to go to the inventory as it shows more accessories oh it actually left off where there, where we were the golden pupples dispenser it's like the golden Yuki Except for instead of SP and stamina, it's attack and stamina. Focus is reduced to zero. Same, basically the same issue that you have with the other one. So you have two really useless accessories. The gold Yuki and the gold Pupples. Now, you might be thinking, based on what I, the, the trend here is, that this golden Chappie here would be useless too. However, it is not. In fact, it is one of the better accessories in the game for specific characters. Now, what this is reduced to zero is SP. So this is really good for NAD uh, characters or characters that are mainly using their normal attacks, not their strong attacks. Um, you can tell what is a normal attack is if you look in the lower right corner on your screen in gameplay, you have the big button right here. That, actually, it might also appear on the other side of the screen. So whatever the big button is, and then you have the ones kind of surrounding it, the big button is the normal attacks during the smaller three of the first three strong attacks and the purple-ish one that's kind of right here or it should be like right there. That is the, the special uh, attack. That is what you're going to want for a normal attack because all other stats are getting a plus 18% unless it's the same attribute, which is then 36%. So you're... Stamina is going up by 36%, your uh, attack is going up by 36%, your defense is going up by 36%, uh, focus is going up by 36%, your SP is just going down to zero, so that's irrelevant. But overall, it's really good. And then you also can roll a 30% attack. So between these two, on just this accessory alone, you're getting a 66% increase to uh, attack, which is really, really good. So... That is actually a good accessory. Now, we scroll up some more. You have regular versions of the two bad ones that I was mentioning earlier. As you can see, you got regular Pupples Dispenser. Same thing, focus reduced to zero. This is a really bad accessory. Same thing with, is the Pupples up here? Or is that, is that somewhere else? It's kind of funny that the Pupples and the, uh, here we go, the Yuki, same thing, focus reduced to zero, bad accessory overall. 
Now, there is some other bad accessories, but I can at least see some use for it, although maybe not as much as there was before. And that is accessories like, uh, not that one. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Freeze duration. So, as you can see, these ones that are here. Let's see if I can find a max one. So, as you can see, this is a max five-star steam bun accessory. That means freeze duration is reduced by 50% as a max. That means if you have a character that's equipped to this that is a purple or heart attribute for this one in particular, they're going to have a reduced freeze duration of 50%. This was at least somewhat usable. Um, but nowadays, you have a lot of characters that are getting complete status immunity or shared complete status immunity that are making these... Um, accessories like this kind of redundant especially because it doesn't even give you a full freeze immunity honestly at this point i'm thinking with all the complete status immune characters that we're getting and the free uh, shared complete status immune characters that we're getting they should probably revamp this to have at least 100 percent max as a five star accessory so instead of 50 percent or instead of 25 percent and 50 percent max if the same attribute should be 50 and 100 because for all the accessories like this because otherwise they're, they're kind of useless actually they're just in my opinion they're useless there might be some i've heard some people use this uh, on guild quests that there is some use there uh i don't know i don't do guild quests so if someone who does guild quests let me know is are these still useful there uh, i have no idea personally and it's not just that it's pretty much any of the ones that have that some kind of immunity duration minus x percent like here i believe is confused or no weaken so this one this one's actually a little bit more uh useful because weaken is a pretty annoying uh, what do they call it ailment to get hit by but even then still better off with a complete or shared uh complete status immune character and there's quite a few of these pretty much for every type of ailment in the game i personally don't recommend using them if you're a new player starting out and you get a five star accessory or if you get that as one of your accessories to use then it can be useful because you might not have the characters that i'm talking about that would make those accessories pretty much useless and the characters actually i'll go to a better way you can find out if you have them by going up here the cog wheel gotta wait for it to load why does it always seem when i'm recording it seems to load slow and here we go to sort, go to filter, and I believe we're looking for, I'm not sure, are they in skills or innate skills? Ah, here we go. So we're going to go like this. We're going to click complete status immunity and share complete status immunity, but we were going to want to click match any, because if you click match all and you click that down here, uh, you won't, won't get any characters shown because there's no character with both of these. So we're going to click that. As you can see, these are the characters with complete status immunity and shared complete status immune. Uh, so this is a complete status immune character. This is a complete status immune character. This is the shared complete status immune character. A shared complete status immune character. Shared, shared. Basically, uh, what differentiates the two is a complete status immune character. It only affects himself or herself. A shared complete status immune character will affect anyone that they're in a group with. So basically, it's only, but you got to get hit with the, the status effect. For example, you see a bunch of the puddles of various status elements on the ground. A shared complete status immune character can run right over it and it will apply a temporary, uh, you know, sh a complete status immunity to all your, you know, all the people in your group for like 10 seconds. So you got to keep making sure you're getting afflicted with those status elements. Otherwise, they could eventually get hit by it. Um, I believe this one's a complete status immune character. This one is shared. This one is shared. I'm not sure. Is Mayuri, Mayuri shared or complete? So he's a complete. So so we have one, two, three, four, complete. And one, two, three, four, five, six shared complete status immunities. So there's a little bit more of the shared complete status immunity characters than there are the uh, the complete status immune characters, but overall, if you pull one of these characters, you can, uh, it'll be very helpful for you. Now you can tell 
Um, you won't be able to tell if you have a five star version of it because they don't have those skills unlocked at five star. You can only buff them to six star and you know, then you'll see. It'll show up you having the character and it'll show you whether you have them or not. So you could also just look at the portrait and you'll be able to find out. But yeah, those are pretty much the worst accessories in the game, in my opinion. There's a couple other ones that you can find niche uses, but for the most part, in my opinion, those are the worst accessories in Bleach Brave Souls, and I hope they eventually get some kind of buff. Although, with how much we have been complaining about Colden, uh, Yukis and Pupples, and the regular Yukis and Pupples, I don't see the change happening anytime soon. I mean, it could. I mean, we did just get a bunch of insane updates, or planned updates for late April. So maybe in the future sometime we might get a revamp to the golden pupples and yukis and the regular pupples and yukis but at the moment i just don't see it happening that's pretty much all i wanted to say thank you for watching have a nice day see you guys next time and let me know what is the accessory you hate the most because i'm actually curious maybe i'm missing one that some people hate for whatever reason um, also, let me know why you hate the X63, because uh, that'll help me figure out why you hate it. Anywho, that is it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.